Welcome to St. Luke United Methodist Church Children, Youth, and Family Ministries Bible Stories for Kids and Families Adapted by Emily Gilbertson, Director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries The story for this is The House on the Rock or The Parable of the Two Builders From Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through 29 Enjoy! In this video, you will find scripture readings, videos, activity suggestions, prayer time, resources used, and also how to contact our church to learn more about our children, youth, and family ministries programs. Thank you for joining us and hope to connect, grow, and serve with you now and in the future. There. My name is Emily Gilbertson, and I am the Director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries at St. Luke and the person behind the videos that you are watching. Thank you so much for joining us in our time together, and I am going to be reading to you our scriptures lesson that we are doing. I use the Adventure Bible, the New International Adventure Bible, with our kids at St. Luke United Methodist Church in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And what I really appreciate about this particular version is one, it is a well-researched and a thought out translation. Um, the NRSV, the new revised standard version is also a really good translation, meaning that it um, uses the, the language, the original Greek, the original Aramaic, and they translate it almost directly. So that's super awesome. And what is great about the Adventure Bible is that there are lots of little snippets for kids and families to be able to relate the story to their own current situation or it um, maybe rephrases a question or a concept in a in language that is appropriate for kids and helps make it a little more a little easier to understand now this story is a parable and a parable is a story that jesus would tell to his disciples or to people um, that were nearby to help them understand a concept and help them be able to relate and understand why something was so important. And he would often link it back to God's kingdom and our purpose and Jesus's purpose for being being in in the world. And so, again, NIV or New International Version Adventure Bible, and this scripture comes to us from Matthew. Matthew was one of the four Gospels. And Matthew was a tax collector. He is the first of the four Gospels in the New Testament. And the New Testament, if you know, is, or if you don't know, is where we find all the stories of Jesus and the early church. Matthew was the one that told us about the wise people and Joseph's story, too. Jesus' is dad, that Joseph. All right, so anyway, our scripture for today is from Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through 29. And when you look in the Bible, you will find big numbers and little numbers. And the big numbers are the chapters, and the little numbers are the verses that will help you be able to find things a little faster. All right, so here we go. The wise and foolish builders also sometimes known as the house on the rock. Okay, now here we go. Therefore, everyone who hears the words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise person who built the house on a rock. The rain came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish person who built a house on sand. The rains came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teachings because he taught as one who had authority, not as their teachers of the law. Stay tuned for more activities, videos, and other suggestions on how you and your families can study this together. Thank you for sharing and thank you for watching. 
create together by building houses out of marshmallows and toothpicks. You will need mini marshmallows or even big ones, toothpicks, and a flat surface like a countertop or table. Check out these pictures and videos from the kids at St. Luke and how they use their marshmallows and toothpicks to create their homes. When doing a Bible study together, it's always good to talk to each other and go through some questions. Here are a few suggestions on how you can make your discussion work together. Also, feel free to leave a comment or make a suggestion about your reactions to the story and maybe share a little bit about what kind of structures you made. Did you make one out of marshmallows or maybe you made one out of Legos or blocks or bricks? Or maybe you made a blanket fort. It's so much fun to create and learn together as a family. Prayer time is a great way to connect with each other as well. Share your joys and concerns, your highs and your lows that you've had either that day or throughout the week. Here is a prayer to help you if you need a suggestion. Let's pray together. Strong God, thank you for being rock solid loving us and always being with us. Help us choose wisely and learn to grow in your way. Amen. Want to learn more about St. Luke UMC's Children, Youth, and Family Ministries? Please contact Emily Gilbertson, Director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries. Our address is 623 Ontario Avenue, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, 53081. The office phone is 920-458-3461. You can also email Emily at emily at stluke.net. You can also find her on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and obviously YouTube. Thank you, and I can't wait to hear from you soon.